Greetings and welcome back everyone to Dapperdale Farm in Stardew Valley where we are going to check the weather. It looks like a storm is approaching. Thunder and lightning is expected. Oh no! Uh, fortune teller, welcome, welcome. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Hmm. I'm not sure we believe you, fortune teller. I saw an article about you in the local paper. It sounds like the country life is a good fit for you. I'm so proud of you. Take care, sweetie. Oh, my mother approves. This makes me happy, even though she's not my mother. Why? I don't know. Damn it. Uh, right, well, we've got a lot of watering to do now, unfortunately. That is one downside to having so many crops. Oh, we've got uh, a little bit down here that I can pick up. That's not too bad. Right, I'm going to get to work doing all of this, and I shall bring you back when I'm done. Okay, there we go. Half of my energy is gone, alas! It does take a lot of work to uh, do all of that watering. So we can drop off our watering can at this point, though, and possibly even maybe... I'm going to need five bars. Five? Five bars? That's a lot. What do I need for more beehives? Eight coal. <laughs> That's so not happening. Any time in the foreseeable future. I will, however, grab this. I'll take that out. I'm going to go and chop down a couple of the trees and also build a few more fences hither and yon, to and fro, such and such. We will see what shape the farm is in and also what shape my energy is in once I've done that. Okay, we have gotten a fair few of the trees chopped down. I have now got... What I've been waiting for for a little while. We may now be able to finish that exotic forage bundle. We've got a fair bit of wood, which means we can now start converting it into charcoal. Which I really should have been doing while I was chopping, but it's so far away from where I was chopping. I would have been just running back and forth constantly. Uh, we need three copper bars to be able to smelt the... Uh, sorry, to be able to create everything we need. You know what, let's go this way, we'll swing through the town, say hello to everyone, and also we will probably be able to drop by the community center, and then ultimately, oh, wow, that was actually super fast. Okay, I completely underestimated that, I do apologize. Might actually be able to go to Clint and get our hoe upgraded. That would be actually really bloody awesome. Get that done. Drop this off. There we go. Uh, we, well, you know what, then? If we're going to be stood here, I may as well make the walls that I fancy having. Um, I'm going to need a little bit more energy to do that, so I'll take one of each of these. Make myself a field snack. There we go. Nom. And then just make a load of these. 45 should do for now. Right, what we want to do is to move along... Ah, oh, damn it. It's kind of finicky with the placement. There we go. Perfect. Take that. Take this. We're also going to need a... gate down here. Uh, you know what? I may as well get that one going as well. Pop those in. Get you out. I'm going to need a little bit of wood for the gate. And there we have it. Perfect. Apparently, I can make one of these. Three copper bars makes a full bar of that. Ooh, I wonder if we can get the gold thing as well, in the same way. That would be awesome. That would generally, genuinely, genuinely be pretty fantastic for us. But we'll wait for those to finish before we head into town and see if we can't get our plow upgraded. Our hove, rather. There we are. And pop that one there as well, that one there, pretty nice. Okay, now I'm fairly certain that the coop will fit into this little area here, so I'm going to go ahead and build this out with that in mind. Let's move out of the way, thanks very much, Snufkin. Uh, draw that along. And there we go, no, damn it. Let's do this then. There we go, fantastic. So we've got our little area there. Um, we'll probably just seed some grass in there, actually. It'll look fantastic, I tell you. And then we can drop down some tiles. Can we put a little tile in there? No, apparently that is out of bounds. Right, well. And we can draw this along. 
Lovely. Okay, I think, actually think we did a fair bit of uh, good work there, honestly. I may upgrade those to metal fences in time. But I'm really happy with the amount of work we got done. Let's drop that off. Uh, you can be sold. Well, actually, no, I should probably keep you. Uh, that can definitely drop off. That can be dropped off. And right, we're good to go. Let's go. I will give... No, I will... Hold on to that and let me give it to Linus. Oh, I've got it. Rocks in my inventory. Balls. And of course, I'm going to find loads of other things. Just wandering around. I shouldn't get too distracted because I've not got that much time to get down to... Oh, it closes at four. Awesome. I've got to really run. Oh, that may actually be the difference between me being able to get there in time and get the whole being upgraded today or not. That's going to be a pain in the ass. And no mistake. Okay, straight line between A and B. Go, 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 go. I wish I could swim. Maybe if I could just get a run up, I could just vault over the the lake. I, I don't think I could, actually. Uh, not the lake, the river. I definitely couldn't vault over the lake. The lake isn't even here. I'd have to jump really far to even be in the proximity of the lake, much less get over it. Huzzah! Upgrade tools. Copper home. Five bars of iron, 5,000 steel axe, steel pickaxe. No, copper home, it will be. Thanks, I'll get started on this as soon as I can. It should be ready in a couple of days. Thank you very much, Clint. You are a scholar and a gentleman, sir. Oh, sweet pea. Let's grab you. I said, let's grab you, not wall up the ground. Here you go, Haley. <gasps> For me? Thank you! Wow. Do you really like flowers? I, I guess so. Here you go, Jazz. I love presents, thank you! Here's some grapes. Wow, thank you so much, this is terrific! Okay, Vincent likes fruit. Vincent really <laughs> likes fruit. He gets, Vincent. Sweet tooth? I think so. We're actually getting a lot of people with a few hearts. Now we just need to work on Alex, Shane, Clint, Marnie, Sebastian, and George, and Willie. Okay, we've got... We, there's loads of people. We haven't... Uh, pulse. I was feeling really good about myself for a second there. Should have known. Should have known. The game would just come and smack me in the face like, haha, no. Uh, you know what? I don't know what you would like, and I'm not going to risk it. Uh, however, you can have this. Thank you, I'm feeling a positive energy from this gift. You are more than welcome. It makes me happy that you are happy. And that is actually quite genuine. Um, right. We have oak resin, spiceberry, poppy honey. Artesian goods, I think. Or artisan goods, I would usually call it. But donk, donk, there we go. And this for the special forage. I'm not sure what we're going to get from this one. Be interesting to find out, though. Let's please stop doing that. Okay. Now then, what are we going to get? We have got... Autumn's... Wow. That is special. That is like super special foods. That is far too special. Hmm. I wonder if I can make those sorts of things. I, I, I imagine I could. Give it enough time. There you go. This is a super gift. Thank you. You're welcome, Meryl. Oh, I'm giving everyone the gifts today. This is a very, very productive friendship building day. Are there going to any wiggly worms? No, but there are some spice berries. I got two. And they're of a high quality. <laughs> Hello. I'll give you something. No, <laughs> you're you're in the zone. I I I love seeing you there playing your flute, just completely drowning out the reality around you. It's like no, I'm in my special place. I do not care what else is going on around me. Fair enough. You go, Linus. Have some higher quality goods. Honestly, this is a great gift. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I should have given you some of Autumn's bounty. Scallywax. I could have given you a much better gift. I'm sorry, Linus. Let's get rid of some of this. I'm not actually sure that I use up any energy doing this. Yoink. Actually, I'm fairly certain I'm not. Okay. I think using the scythe does, but using your weapon does not. So having a very long reach weapon for clearing out uh, weeds? Pretty useful. Pretty useful indeed. 
And that means there's a good chance that forage will um, grow in these spots instead. So basically I'm just clearing the area up for future runs where I might want to get something a little bit better. The trees are growing fast though, which is nice. Get down here. There we go. Right, what else are we going to get? We are going to get a bath. Because it's not actually much point other than maybe meeting someone in here, I guess. Uh, it'd be nice, though. I wish I could swim fish at the bar. <laughs> what kind of fish do you have in here? I don't know. Probably bad ones. Ones that, that swim places they shouldn't and latch on and become parasites and then turn you into giant mutant puffer fish. I don't know why. That just seems like what you'd have in a bathhouse in Stardew Valley. It's a strange place, this one. Uh, Alright, 8, 10 p.m. We are almost fully healed in terms of energy and got very little to do with it. But we should be able to do a little bit more around our farm, perhaps. Maybe get all of the walls around our farming section. Just chop them down. I could even make a uh, summer forage bundle, but there's no point. It's the 16th. I don't think anything would grow in that time. Though that being said, if it grows... In 12 days, then that wouldn't be too bad. Does it tell me how fast it grows? No, not really. And it's, it's a bit of a risk. If I could have some speed grow, then I might. But since I can't, I, I won't bother with that one. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. You're lucky I'm not peckish. Very lucky. I am full up on energy. I do not need to eat you. Or to turn your fur into a nice coat. Ready for the winter. Because winter is coming. It's always coming, eventually. But, especially right now. <gasps> wow, they do it every day? That's amazing! Genuinely amazing. Let's drop these off, then. That is actually pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, you can go... All of these can go... Thank you very much. Do we have any... No, we don't have anything to pop in there. However, what we do have is to drop those off. And get the walls out. Got the stones already. Okay. Well, let's start work on some more areas. I would love to make this little area here my crafty sort of place. But that being said... The idea of having a dedicated area for crafting kind of centralized makes a lot of sense to me. Like having a, a central sort of in the industrial area. I, I hazard to call it an industrial area because I don't really want it to be industrial per se. But having an area where it is built up for my crafting, that would be pretty awesome. That is a very strong light. That is a really strong light. What is generating that light? I must find out. I've not come over here in the in night before. There we go. Not letting me through? Fine. I'll go round. Even more. It's 11, 10 p.m., so I might not have that much time to do this, but... There we go. What have I got here? What is generating this light? Is it Grandpa's Shrine? Really? I'm a little bit surprised by that. I mean, I don't know why it would be generating that light, but maybe there is, there's, like, candles there. Maybe, before I actually get control of my character every morning, they, I come over here and I light candles around the shrine. That would be quite beautiful. There we go. Let's chop down everything around here so I can see it properly. Well, that's quite interesting. Also, I need to get the tree tap away. In fact, I need to create a proper area for tapping... These kinds of trees. So I've got uh, pine tar, oak resin, and the uh, maple syrup production. In fact, maybe I could do something over here for that. As trees are fairly low maintenance, in fact, they're completely low maintenance, and also because they don't produce their, um, their resin particularly often, their sap, I could probably work on that and actually factor that in um, to the design and put, build my uh, 
farm for trees quite far away. So I'm just not going to have to look at it too often. So it would probably be all right. Well, I'll take that out ready for the morrow. It is now time for bed. It is 1 a.m. And I do not want to pass out in front of my house again. Okay, yes, go to sleep. Level 6 foraging. One axe proficiency. I can now create a lightning rod. I can make crafting recipe while teat. Four. I, wow, I can make a warp totem beach. So I can just quickly get to the beach, I guess. That's pretty awesome. Okay, I like it. Let's see what we made. Oh, a fair old bit of cash, actually. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. We got two grapes and 875 uh, gold from this. Two purple mushrooms is 500 gold. I'm getting mushrooms every... Wow. Okay, seems that in summer you really start to make money. But that is going to be the end of this episode. There is a big old storm outside. I'm just going to check whether we are likely to have decent fortune or not. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Actually, apparently they're in good humor. And the weather port says that it's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Okay. Well, I think we're going to venture down the mines. Let's see if uh, we come up with anything interesting or not. But that'll all be in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for that one. But until then... Do take care of yourselves.